this is actually just a bar that I had left. Um, it kind of, the scent kind of faded a little bit. So, not wanting to throw it away, I just decided to cut it up. And I'm going to put, the soap is going to be purple. Um, but I'm going to just put, and I wanted mostly white confetti. Because the little cupcakes I'm putting in the bottom, they're small, like mini cupcakes. Uh, the first time I did it, I put in normal size cupcake. Um, but these are just going to be little mini, and they're white with confetti in them, color confetti. And then pink flowered tops. Um, so I kind of wanted a solid color around it, but wanted some color in the solid color, if that makes sense. So... Um, I decided to to just do this, and I'm sure you've all seen this done, but I just wanted to show the process from the beginning to the end. I think that one soap will be plenty. I was hoping it would be. And I may save a little to put on the top. I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with the top yet. Um, I have little hearts that I made that are the same pink color that the cupcakes are. I'll show you those real quick. So here's my confetti and it does have some um, color in it with the white. I thought that would be pretty. These are the little mountain pour hearts that I made to put on the top. Um, and these are my little cupcakes that I'm going to put inside. Okay, um, I think we're ready to get started. Let me just real quick put my kale and clay in here. I'm going to give that a quick buzz. solution. Go ahead and add my cream. Now the fragrance I mixed up, I wanted something fruity. Um, I mixed some bumbleberry fragrance oil from Nature's Garden and some Huckleberry Harvest. So it has lots of strawberry notes, blackberries, peach. Um, it said it had earthy tone, a little bit of an earthy tone. Um, so it has just lots of, and it has a couple flower florals in it also. Um, but it says it doesn't separate or rise or accelerate. So I'm hoping, let me get another container. I'm going to save out and just a little bit of white for the top. I may pipe a little bit. I'm not really sure. Kind of just do it as I go. I've decided whenever I plan out a soap is when it doesn't turn out as good. Let me go ahead and mix up the white real quick. I got this bottle with the ball bearings in it from Be Scented. Um, and I love it. It's so much easier. The other bottle I tried to, I had, it leaked, um, and I had awful time with it, but this one is great. I love it. Okay, this is my pre-mixed purple. It's magic purple from Be Scented, um, but I do want more of a pale purple, so I added a little bit of titanium dioxide in there, too. I just didn't want such a dark purple that it would um, take away from seeing the pink and the cupcake. Although maybe that would be pretty. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out here when I mix it up. Do the white. Just do a tiny bit more.
Okay, that's completely fine if that thickens up. Because I'm gonna probably use it for the top. I'll go ahead and do the purple, see what we get. Just making sure you're in the camera. <laughs> Maybe I should have waited to add the titanium dioxide until I mixed the regular purple. I have a little bit more of purple mix. This is Magic Purple and Pretty Purple from Be Scented. And I was going to use this for my next batch. So I'm just going to add a little. I like that better. It kind of has a um, purplish pinkish tone to it. Um, I'm going to do a batch after this. I'm going to do like a black and white tiger. I think the tilted tiger it might be called. Um, but I'm going to do that in my nurture soap tall and skinny mold. I've been wanting to do it. I just haven't done it. And I'm going to do it tonight. I don't know how, what I'll fragrance it with. but Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance to this, and I'm going to pour a little bit of a layer in the bottom. To set the cupcakes in. I also don't want to forget to add my confetti. I can see myself forgetting to do that. It's a really pretty purple. I don't know about you guys, it's funny, and I watch soap videos. I like the part where they're just hand mixing it, hand mixing in their fragrance or their color. I find it so relaxing. I don't know, some people probably forward through it, they don't have time, but I love it. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of confetti now. I'm not quite sure how much. I'm just going to... I guess I'm really into confetti soap lately. Um, and I love that I can use up, you know, a bar or two of something that I had left over that I didn't feel that I wanted to sell for, you know, if it lost its scent or whatever reason. Um, just a tiny bit more, I guess. And then, I think I'm going to call this cupcake like, or this soap like, it's my party or something fun like that. Because it's going to look like, kind of like a party cupcake with, I figure these little confetti will look like, Kind of like streamers or something inside. Okay, I'm going to pour this in the bottom. Let me move the camera because I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'm going to tip it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pour a decent layer in the bottom. I mean, a little bit more. I kind of think I want the cupcake to show up in this more of the center of the soap. I always find that when I'm making confetti soap that I have to pound it down real good because it does tend to get lots of bubbles. Oh, the fragrance smells really good. I have been making some fall fragrances, um, soaps lately, and so I love fall fragrances, but it's nice to just do something fruity. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place the cupcakes in, and like I did last time, make sure you can see, like I did last time, um, I made sure they were like right next to each other so that when I cut them, each cup, each piece will have what looks like a part of a cupcake inside. This was actually left over a 
cupcakes I made from an, a batch the other day. So I was thinking, what am I going to do with them? I had these pre-piped, the top flowers, so I just kind of put them on. Okay. All right, now I'm just carefully going to go ahead and scoop some of this on the top. I don't really want them to move down at all. I think I'm okay to... Okay, I'm going to pause you guys real quick, and I'm going to get my piping ready, and I will be right back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and I'm back. I'm going to pipe, pipe the top. Um, I went ahead and just put a little bit down the center, because um, I just find if I pipe down the center, I just have to pipe over top of it anyway. Plus, my bag was getting really full. And I wanted the center to be a little bit higher. Sorry if you can't I'm sorry if you can't see. I'm right handed. I gotta I can't work the other way. And just kind of shaking it a little to make the flower kind of little spirally. I'm going to go ahead and put my hearts in.
I don't want this them to be too big because I know they're going to be heavy with the cupcake in there so Okay, go ahead and put some glitter on it. Okay guys, I'll bring you back tomorrow for the cutting. Thanks for watching.